With the vast amount of FNAF fan games floating around on the internet, it should be no surprise that developers have taken their own spin on the Five Nights at Freddy's game structure and lore. Many have actually moved away from the horror aspect of the series and have taken a more light-hearted approach to the characters that we have grown to love over the past four years. We've already covered the top 10 best FNAF fan games, but for this video, we will be counting down the top 10 best FNAF parody fan games to date. So what makes a FNAF game a parody? Well. Really, by definition, literally any FNAF fan game could be considered a parody, so to help narrow down the search, I decided to look for those FNAF games whose primary goal, or at least on some level, is to make you laugh. They may be scary or follow the traditional five-night structure of a typical FNAF game, but as long as there is an attempt to tickle our funny bones, they were considered for the list. Now, this is a list based off of what the FNAF community thinks is funny, and not necessarily what I think is funny. As such, we have a few games on this list that are a bit on the mature and crude side, of which I am not a fan, but hey, what can you do? Before we dive into this list, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more top 10s and hilarious gameplay. Like this. <laughs> Narrowing down this list to only 10 FNAF fan games was super difficult, and I ended up cutting out a lot of great games that could have easily made this list. For the 10th spot, I had it narrowed down to two games. Five Nights with Mac Tonight, and Five Nights at Pingus. Two completely different games, both with different definitions of what a parody FNAF fan game is, right? Although Five Nights with Mac Tonight is a great FNAF clone poking fun at McDonald's characters, and to be honest, is one of my favorite FNAF games, Five Nights at Pingus better personifies what kind of game I was looking for in this list. The Five Nights at Pingus series can be described in one word, memes. Well, dead memes. Okay, two words. To be fair, this is a terrible game with awful conveyance. It doesn't teach you how to handle the mechanics, and spending time to actually beat the game just isn't worth the effort. So, why is the game on this list? Well, this is the pinnacle of comedy for many people. Now, many of those people play Fortnite, but really this game embodies everything that we love about the internet. The freedom, the chaos, the memes. Scott in space. Freddy has been given so many fan games, why not give one to the big man himself? Scott in Space boils down to a series of well-crafted mini-games very reminiscent of FNAF World. But it's not all fun and games. There are still plenty of opportunities to be jump scared. Bunny. So yeah, it's got that fun little mix of humor and horror. If you're just looking for a laid-back FNAF game to play for an afternoon, this is the game for you. It was a beautiful day in the Top Hill region. Baby and her best friend Lowellbit were having a delightful picnic. What the f*** is this? That was my first reaction when opening up Baby's Nightmare Circus Bike Fighters for the first time. This game screams parody. I mean, the story is literally Circus Baby on a bike shooting rockets at giant floating animatronic heads in order to save her best friend from a storm. And it's hard. Oh my god, it gets difficult. And for a good reason, I mean, this is meant to be a rage game. Overall, the game reminds me a lot of the FNAF World minigames on the second update. Super fun, funny concept. I only wish that there were more levels. <laughs> Boobs and butts. My god, I'm risking everything putting the Five Nights in Anime series on this list. Oh, what I won't do for the FNAF community. Okay, so obviously, a lot of this game's attraction, get it, comes from the thirst some of y'all have for these, um... How do I put this? Voluptuous animatronics? But you can't help but smile at the humor of this game. You literally die from being smothered by squishy bits. In a lot of ways, this is parody at its finest. Or sexiest. I've never played this series on the channel, for obvious reasons, I hope. But maybe I can convince Omar Sabali to play this series. Hmm? I don't think anyone expected Five Nights at Rachel's to take a turn like this. What started the series as a terrifying experience has thus evolved into... Well, whatever this is. I think the best way to describe this game would be a hilarious FNAF shoot-em-up game. There's something just so satisfying about shooting T-posing animatronics and having them explode into smithereens. Take that, rabbit! I suck at shooter games, and it took me a while to finally reach the ending, but after playing so many FNAF horror games, playing a silly fan game like this was a breath of fresh air. Oh, and the best part of this game? It's canon! 
Flumpty's back! I talked about the One Night at Flumpty series during a previous Top 10 video already, but I felt that it also had a place on this list as being one of the first FNAF fan games to really try to approach the gruesome horror game about child murder and turn it into something we can all laugh about. In addition to being a structurally good FNAF fan game, each game is covered with small little fun jokes and wacky characters clearly not meant to be taken too seriously. Well, until they jump scare you. Then the game actually gets a little scary. Clock Jaeger, escape from the planet of the Poltroid. A space chicken crash lands on the Poltroid planet and must escape the evil clutches of the evil Colonel Sanders. It ain't my most prized chicken come home to roost, I do declare. This screams parody FNAF game. I mean, come on. This is a KFC horror game. In this FNAF clone, you must spend seven nights in your spaceship defending yourself from several zombified chickens who will stop at nothing to turn you into some delicious fried chicken. And don't even get me started on Chickzilla. Oh! Ah! This game is also made by the same dudes who made Space Quest. Well, for those of you old enough to remember that game, my God, I'm getting old. Five Nights with 39 follows your usual FNAF template, but instead of a group of animatronics trying to kill you, you just have one angry rabbit. The gameplay itself is kind of dull and boring. The dude appears in your office, honk his nose. The plushie appears on your screen, punch it in the face. But let's be honest here. We didn't play this game for the gameplay, and that's not why the game made this list. The dialogue. Throughout each night, 39 pokes fun at the FNAF series as a whole, pointing out flaws in the original games, as well as vocalizing some classic slapstick. Catch him in the camera and you'll sometimes find him striking a sexy pose here or there. The dialogue can get a little crude, but if this is your type of humor, you will love this game. Uh, look at me. I'm Foxy. Yif the Fox. You sick f That's a new one. Okay, so here's the thing. My channel's pretty PG. Sometimes it skirts the edge of PG-13, but I do my best never to go too far on my channel. But here we are, Five Nights at F*** Boys! As the title implies, this is a very raunchy and crude game. And as I type this script, I am dreading the number of things I'm gonna have to censor in this section. After the success of the first game, and with YouTuber gameplay pushing its popularity, Five Nights at F*** Boys quickly became one of the more infamous FNAF fan games a few years ago, leading to multiple sequels and even its own fan games. It kind of created its own cult following. Now, Five Nights at F*** Boys doesn't have my kind of humor. I personally stay away from crude humor that is only raunchy just to be offensive in some way. But that is not what this video is about. The FNAF community loves this game and so it makes the list. Go away, personal feelings. Hello there, old sports, and welcome to the Day Shift at Freddy series. Ever since I uploaded my top 10 best FNAF fan games video, you guys have been begging me to play this game. And I gotta tell you, the series blew me away. So thank you for the awesome suggestion. Each game is jam-packed with random encounters, RPG gameplay, hilarious bad voice acting, funny dialogue, doggos, a plethora of endings, meme music, and even soft tender moments that will pull at your heartstrings. I never knew what the series was going to throw at me next, and I loved every second of live streaming this series. Now the game can be a little crude, and to be honest, I think Day Shifted Freddy's 2 took it a little too far, but the series as a whole really took the FNAF community by storm, and overall, it's a very entertaining experience. Shut up! The ending of Day Shift at Freddy's 3 totally didn't make me cry! <sighs> Damn it! Ah! So there it is, my top 10 list of best parody FNAF fan games. Like I said in the beginning, a parody can be defined many different ways, and if you agreed with my list, awesome! If you didn't, I would love to read your top 10 list in the comment section below. Maybe you'll even open my eyes to some more FNAF fan games that I could potentially play on my channel. Or you can leave a mean comment about how I'm wrong or whatever. That's fine too, I guess. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new. Also, thank you all so much for 80,000 subscribers. I have just been blown away by all the support I've seen recently. I can't believe we've come this far and I can't wait to see where the channel goes from here. The journey to 100,000 subscribers continues. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.